Hi guys, today we're going to go through a few different books that I feel that you guys are going to love. Get, just get, get rid of making the cut. I'll fire you. Today we're going to go through two books then. we got to give two for the price of one. Well, not really, they're both $55, but for the term, we're doing two book reviews. It's one. Yeah, we're going with it. We're starting off with Secret Agenda and Hidden, Hidden Agenda, both by Mr. Roberto G.O.B. The first one's printed, uh, Secret Agenda is printed by Dramatic Press. The new Hidden Agenda, which just came out, is printed by, uh, well, at least produced by Mitch and Inc. Competitors Duel. Besides that, the book, in essence, is the same book in terms of the, the, the logic and flow to them. It's meant to be kind of like a trick, a thought, a concept of a day book. So, what's that mean? If you go inside, you'll see that it starts with January 1st and works its, way, works its way through the entire year. So you can, in theory, every day read one concept. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of like a calendar book. And at first I did that, but like every once in a while you'll cheat. You'll read one and you might read five entries. The next day you might read two or you might wait a week and then catch back up. But the cool thing is you kind of have your choice of it. Even though they're printed by two different people, are both, I would say, equally as nice as far as layout and texture and feel. I want to say they kept it pretty darn consistent. So I have personally read through the entire Secret Agenda, um, but I haven't started Hidden Agenda yet because I want to start on January 1st and I like to do it like one, one a day. I like to try to keep up. Um, okay, I cheated. I did read the first two, but I stopped. I stopped myself. I had to, like, you know, come on, you just open a book, you had to at least read the first two. But I'm waiting to January 1st to really start getting into it. Just recently started reading it again because, I mean, there's so many ideas in here, you just can't remember them all. And they're not exactly related. It's not, it's not one concept, it's not just card magic. It's cards, coins, it's thoughts, there's, uh, there's poems, there's what is magic, there's different things. And in here, he even does, like, uh, like sometimes thought drills. Like, will give you an exercise for that day to do. Um, so, for as far as Secret Agenda goes, I know it's wonderful. I kind of flipped through Hidden Agenda, and it looks to be the same book. I mean, I kind of just read through some of them. I mean, I, I, I quickly, uh, July 7th, it's called More Thoughts on Table Hopping Crossed Out Table Magic. My only gripe with this book, if I had one con so far, as Dennis Bear pointed out on his Instagram account, that he left a date out of this book. If you go to April 29th, there's April 28th. April 30th, there is no April 29th. They're asking Ryan, why do you care about that? That's my birthday. That's my birthday! It's not in there! Yeah, you always feel special. I don't care who you are, you're always like, when you get to your birthday, you're like, this entry must mean something. I did that with Secret Agenda. I didn't, I didn't know that wasn't in there until Dennis Barry pointed it out. I'm kind of glad he told me, because if I would have waited until April to find out, I would have been crushed. At least going in, I know it's not there. So thank you, Dennis. You saved my life. To kind of wrap this up, I mean, these are both are calendar books. I think they're, they're both priced at $55. Well worth the price. I mean, come on. You're getting 366, I think they're 366 ideas. That's how he advertises it. Um, in here, so you're, you're, you're doing okay, you're doing okay. Um, I personally know, like, in, like, I would say this stuff is fantastic jamming material as well, because there's so many times where I'm hanging out with friends, and they show me something, I go, oh, you know, Joby had a good idea in this, um, and I show it to them, that's awesome. It's just one of those books that you kind of refer to as, like, I have an idea. Even this, uh, I think it's the first entry in this hidden agenda, I told you I cheated, I read the first one, January 2nd. It's called A la mode de du chef. Basically, it was a thought on presentation. And my buddy of mine here in town was uh, bouncing ideas on how he wanted to present his show. And, and I actually read this. I, I, I called him up and said, Josh, I have a cool idea for you. This is one of those books where you're going to read something and it doesn't apply to you, it's going to apply to one of your friends. And to me, sharing, that's what it's all about. It's just you know, collaborating with your friends. Sharing ideas, and these are just some of the best like idea starters there there is around. Because there's just a varied amount, and that's what makes it so cool. Either way, I would definitely pick up both of them. I mean, why not? Why not do a, a semi uh, 
a simultaneous calendar where you read one entry from each starting in the new year, huh? Pretty cool, right? Kind of fun. So, yep, hit it, agenda, secret agenda. You guys are gonna love it. Go check it out.